Hey everyone, first of all I want to thank you for your interest in my board game Abracadabra. Hopefully we can both benefit from the content of this video. Abracadabra is a card game designed for 3 to 6 players of age 10 plus that should last an average of 30 minutes. The goal of the game is to collect all the required scrolls to be able to cast the ultimate incantation, Abracadabra. Each player will embody a magician on their quest for more power and there isn't any incantation stronger than Abracadabra. In their quest for knowledge and power, they will have to steal and destroy scrolls from other players, but also protect their own scrolls while they collect the required scrolls for the ultimate incantation. The game fits the description of the gateway gaming category, in that the game is very easy to learn and play, but offers a variety of decision and opportunities to use strategy to optimize your turn. While it's true that because it's a card game, the luck of the draw can benefit one player more than the others, the quote-unquote unlucky players should be able to use their card to disrupt the lucky players and hopefully make their own luck with their decisions. The main features of the game are the take that and card collecting. On their quest to collect the scrolls needed to complete the ultimate incantations, player will use spells that will either benefit them or hinder their targets. While everyone will be battling it out, they will also be looking for specific cards in the deck that they will need to collect and keep until their next turn. Getting the ultimate incantation means nothing if you're not able to keep it until your next turn. Other features that are included are the card combination and the reshuffling of win condition. On their turns, player will be able to cast one single incantation. However, this incantation can combine up to three scrolls depending on the type of scrolls they use. Combining the effects of stealing a random card to the effect that forces the target to show his hand allows the current player to select a card instead of getting a random one. And that's just one example. Multiple combina combinations are possible and make for a variety of effects that players can experiment with. However, be warned, it's possible that the effect of the incantation will be mirrored back to you. Take that into consideration when selecting your incantation and your target. The reshuffling of win condition basically means that the cards required to win can never be discarded. If an ultimate scroll is discarded for any reason, it is instead reshuffled back into the deck. This way, the longer the game goes, the more the tension builds up. Now you have a pretty good idea of how the game is played. Let me tell you why it's a great game. First of all, Abracadabra is the most popular magic, world, magic word and people associate it to the use of magic, which fits the mechanics and the theme of the game. It's easy to learn and offers just enough possibility for strategy so that the game isn't entirely luck-based as other card games could be. While it's true that you can attack other players, you can never eliminate them. Therefore, every player will play until the end of the game. And lastly, the number of ultimate scrolls that are in the game scales with the number of player. Therefore, playing with three players or with six players will require a different strategy. For the components, there's a small rule book, 108 cards and a small box to fit everything. It's easy to carry, and because the games aren't very long, they can easily be played in various locations and in multiple different situations. I hope this helped you have a better understanding of what Abracadabra is made of, and as I said earlier, I hope we can both benefit from the content of this video. Thank you, have a nice day.